Zambians woke to a new president on Monday. That is, those who'd gone to sleep. Many supporters of Hakainde Hichilema partied in the early hours of the morning after the opposition leader won Zambia's presidential election with a landslide, according to Electoral Commission results. We, the children of Zambia, you will know our freedom. The Electoral Commission said Hichilema had secured over 2.8 million votes, compared to incumbent Edgar Lungu's 1.8 million. That's with all but one of the country's 156 constituencies counted. Lungu complained on Saturday that the election was not free and fair. But he'd been facing growing public discontent over the state of the economy, including significant levels of youth unemployment. Disgruntled youth, that's what they told us, and now we show them that we're not disgruntled, we're actually the youth that make the change. However, celebrations in the capital Lusaka may be short-lived. Zambia is in dire financial straits. In November, it became the continent's first sovereign default due to the global health crisis, after failing to keep up with international debt payments. IMF support and a debt restructuring plan have been on hold until after the vote. The economy has been only slightly buoyed by more favourable prices for copper, Zambia's main export. They're hovering around decade highs, driven partly by the boom in electric cars. But households continue to feel the impact as Zambia services debt that ballooned from 36% to 110% of GDP under Lungu. Zambians and investors will now be watching to see if Hichi Lema, once CEO of an accounting firm before entering politics, will have more success in balancing the books.